Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel. On today's episode, we're going to be discussing... Disgusting? <laughs> it's so disgusting. We're going to be discussing controlling a, th a load with three sources. So you might ask yourself, why do I need to control one load with three sources? And the answer is I have a friend with a boat. He has three AC units. So let's go ahead and call these switches ACs. So air conditioning. I believe it's AC and a heater, but we're just gonna call them ACs. So we've got AC1, AC2, and AC3. And for now, just pretend like this isn't here and pretend like these are water pumps. Right now what he's got going on is he has one AC that controls, sends power to a pump, and that pump feeds back over to the AC, feeding it water to, 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 uh, to, cool, the, uh, to cool the air. And same thing with AC2 and AC3. And when AC1 comes on, the pump comes on, feeds water, same thing with AC2 and AC3. All right, so that's, that's what he's got going on right now. Three ACs, three pumps. So what he wants to do is he wants to get a bigger pump. I know this is a light bulb. Yes, this is a light bulb. But we're gonna consider this a pump. It could be a pump, it could be a fan, it could be a motor, just anything that you wanna load up, All right? So he's got this big pump that he wants to be able to circulate water to all three ACs and eliminate the smaller three pumps. So how we're gonna achieve that is with three relays. And the reason why is because all three of these ACs, when they turn on, it sends a signal out and it's an automatic signal. So when an AC, when it turns on, when it cools off, boom, the pump turns off. And the reason why we can't do that with just there, this power source to control one pump is because let's say AC1 has cooled the room off. Well, AC2, AC2, AC2 turns on and you can see the pump's not turning on, right? So in order for that to work, we have to have the relays. So you can see I turn on all, my, all of my ACs and all the pump comes on. I can turn all but one off and the pump stays on and then all ACs are off, the pump is off. Easy, easy. Okay, so let me go ahead and explain this to you. So these are all powered independently, sending out independent power sources to the relay. So this is your hot and this is your neutral, which energizes the relay on each one, one, two, and three. And over here, and we, and the pump, this pump actually has a separate power source. All right, so this is the outside, this is the fourth power source coming in. And these contacts are all connected together. They're all connected together. And right now, they're just holding power. There's nothing, there's nothing to turn this pump on. It's gotta go through this contact here. So this pump, it says go to this pump, to the pump, and it actually is connected Let's run. Let's see, I don't want to do that. All right. So it is actually connected. Like that. So these pins are connected together. Make sense? Yeah, I got some, some pretty bad stranded wire there, I know. Okay, so we're gonna turn pump one on, or AC one on, which turns the relay on, and it sucks in this contact. So you can see, it closes that contact right there, sending power down 
and into this pump. That's demonstrated by this blue wire right here. It's coming from my relay, coming to the pump. And here I've got my power in for the pump, and it's actually going to one side of this uh, relay, which is represented by the other set of blue wires. There's two blue wires here, one for in, one for out. One for in, one for out. All right, so we're gonna close. We're gonna reopen relay one and close relay two. Again, it's feeding power in and it's feeding power down to the pump. And close eight, relay three. Same thing, it's just continuing the loop. I turn off AC2. And because AC3 is still on, it's feeding the pump. And that's basically how it works. And one thing I have to say is that you have power and a neutral coming into power and a neutral controlling a relay, right? But you only need your power, your line, to come into the relay. You don't need a neutral to, on the contact side of the relay. So your neutral is going to be independent that just goes straight to your motor or to your, to your load. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below and please subscribe. We'd much appreciate it. Everybody <laughs> please subscribe and uh, hit that like button. If you can, you know, anything counts. I'm trying to recarpet this boat. <laughs>